Um, I'm always all for knowledge, for information, for resources. Um, and I think that really speaking to the issues that we have in the economy now. You are imbibing, you are putting into action some of those knowledges from uh, programs like this. And then you, you are now able to grow. This is not just one of the talk shows that people organize around. It's impactful. We are breaking out into sessions. We are taking people, organizations that are here present to evaluate and monitor what they are doing and see how we can positively affect them. I spent a while in uh, Japan understudying the Toyota production system. And uh, it will amaze you to know that the Japanese almost do not have any natural resources. But in Nigeria, anywhere you dig, you find something. I hope you know that water can be a natural resource. If you don't think so, go to the desert and find out. <laughs> and what you have is that, even though they do not have that, they're still one of the biggest exporters. They import raw materials. They process those raw materials with excellence. And then they export those products to the entire world. Data shows that an American television operates at what we call four sigma level, and a Japanese television operates at six sigma level. Consider SMEs to be ants. Ants be one of the most unique mounts that you can find. Very strong, very coordinated. That the, 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 the nation is not going to thrive on very big companies alone. All these small companies are even what the big companies depend on to, to actually thrive. So I think the SMEs are late. In, in my mind, we're playing catch up right now because we need to catch up on things we have lost. Um, there are security issues for quite a lot of us in the agribusiness space, particularly those of us at the end of the value chain, around processing, around packaging, around logistics. When there are security issues in the northern part of the country, food prices come up. Sometimes, some people, I have a few of my entrepreneurs at Faith Foundation, that they couldn't get to leave your their goods for a few weeks because there, was, there were issues around the roads, there were flooding issues. Then now, as bad as the situation is, it's probably going to be slightly worse over time because there's so many places and farms that also have not been able to farm. So every time things happen, and I'll talk about that later, it can be security issues, it can be environmental issues, so they've been flooding into parts of the north. Um, we're all very aware that the economy has contracted. Uh, we recently came out of a contract um, of, of a recession. And things have really, really been difficult in the business environment. And um, what I really spoke about was how a micro, small or medium enterprise can, despite the environment, still grow, still scale, still expand their businesses by doing things that they should be doing efficiently. Things around helping them to better manage their cash flow, helping them to look at their business model and make sure that their businesses are positioned for profit. Um, things around how to structure themselves and also making sure that they're focused on their customers and ensuring that um, they really attain the first of all that they are appealing to the customers that um, in line with their customer segmentation and they provide the right type of support to enable them right, to keep their customers and also get that. more repeat customers. Now how did this journey begin? So that you have a better understand what credit bureaus are. 1980s to 1990s, a lot of non-performing loans. We all know what was going on. A lot of problems in the financial system. So CBN who by the way is our regulator, and good thing they're not here, that's I'll probably be shaking in my shoes right about now, is they came up with the initiative that we should have a system that monitors what is going on in terms of loans and credit facilities. And they came up with what we would call the Public Credit Bureau, Credit Risk Management System. We, I spoke about the relevance of credit bureaus in the current economic storm, the roles that credit bureaus can play. Um, for SMEs, for financial institutions, for all the players basically in the financial system. I believe that if they have easier access to credit, easier access to much needed finance, that their growth can actually become astronomical. Because you find that most of the time the problems with or the challenges that SMEs have is lack of funds. And things have been put in place to ensure that these funds are easier to access.
the credit bureaus that are functional, the credit, the collateral registry now where you can use your movable assets to get loans. So CBN, the, the Central Bank of Nigeria, in you know, collaboration with uh, the financial players of the financial system, which of course includes credit bureaus, are putting certain parameters in place to ensure that easy assets to finance is possible. The first question is, I find that, that uh, in Nigeria, why has it become so difficult for financial institutions to finance ideas as against um, capital projects, social media climate to promote businesses for entrepreneurs in this country? Um, for example, uh, will it be easy for a farmer as well to use social media to promote his uh, our businesses? Um, thank you very much. Um, for those of you who don't know um, what Connect Nigeria does, Connect Nigeria is considered as Nigeria's information portal. We are very heavy in the digital online space and we're also a media company. I mean, you could see some of my colleagues are already covering this event. Social media is powerful, there's no doubt about it. In the past, um, uh, in the past 10 years now, social media has only created a storm that is similar to the topic that, you're, that you picked for the event. And uh, anybody who's not in that space right now is not seen as a modern business individual. Be you, be you a, a financial institution, a farmer, a medical practitioner, a legal practitioner, a carpenter, a fashion designer, a hairstylist. Regardless of the kind of business you do, if you're not on social media, you're not getting yourself ready for the future. Yes, sir, it's it's, it's the, open. For the end of this, it's um, open. It's open. So yes. members can actually meet Connect Nigeria yes, now. Yes, come to us. To now showcase their products on your program. Yes, okay. you come to us. You tell us what you do. If it's something laudable, if, it, if it's something we feel the general society will benefit from, we do many of them practically free of charge. Thank you so much for coming. That's from Super Hands Renewed Talking of Safe. Thank you. For me, you do not, for those youths out there, you don't throw away ideas because there is no money or because of their hard facts. You need to think big, start one, and start now. Far you are there, you need to discipline yourself. You need to learn, unlearn, and relearn again to adapt, you know, into a changing environment, use of social media, use of technology, and, and boom, your business is, before you know it, persistence is the key, and that is what we give you. You have to keep it focused, focused. Looking for a business? Log on to connectnigeria.com. If you like the video you just watched and want more, subscribe now. To watch more videos, click on Watch More Videos.